In this video, I will be teaching you how to create new painting and drawing surfaces using a material called gesso. We will discuss the anatomy of a tree and use this for inspiration to create an art piece. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to create a gessoed surface by using something other than white paper to paint on. You should be able to synthesize your understanding of tree anatomy, specifically the heartwood and rings, through illustration on top of your gessoed surface. At the end of the lesson, you will have an opportunity to reflect on your project and describe how your artwork relates to the concepts of the heartwood and tree rings. If we were to cut a tree at the trunk and look at it, we would see something like this. Inside the tree trunk, there is a dark wood towards the center of the trunk known as the heartwood. The heartwood is the core of the tree. It is what keeps it protected from rot and diseases. You will also notice the rings that come out from the center of the tree. These tree rings are layers that the tree has built up over time, almost like skin. Each ring represents one year of the tree's life. In the years that tree has had good growing conditions with a lot of water and sunlight, the rings become thicker and more protective. In the years that the tree has struggled, the ring is thinner and weaker. Before we begin the lesson, I would like you to consider a few questions. Thinking about the anatomy of a tree trunk that we discussed, consider what is at your core or your heartwood that keeps you strong, inspired, and whole? Is it your hope, your dreams, your love? Second, Think about what things you build up around you, the rings of your life that keep you safe. Is it your family, friends, a delicious bar of chocolate? What helps you stay strong? Before we begin, you'll wanna gather the following supplies. Gesso, a paintbrush, a cup of water, a small cup to put gesso in, and two to three pieces of non-white paper. For this demo, I'll be using acrylic gesso. Gesso is essentially a primer that, when used, makes surfaces less absorbent and better able to hold mixed media, especially paint. Most artists will use gesso on wood, canvas, and board to make it smoother and less absorbent. We want to use it especially when working with oil paint. You'll begin by using your paintbrush to scoop about three tablespoons of gesso into a cup. You don't want to use gesso directly from the bucket because if you accidentally mix water into gesso, you will ruin it. You will then take whatever paper you've gathered and place them on top of a scratch paper or surface that you can paint on. Dip your brush into the gesso and lightly paint on top of the paper. You can dip your brush in water to make a thin layer of gesso if you want to see some of the designs come through on your paper. If you would like to completely erase the surface, you will paint directly with gesso in thick layers. You may need more than one layer to really cover the surface. For your project, consider how the paper you choose for your background will help inform your piece. I've chosen a collaged piece that reminds me of my home in Tucson as something I hold in my heartwood, my core. Think about what you can bring into your layers with the surface you choose as you work. With your gesso, play around with different thickness while you paint. Are there some parts of your surface you want to show and others you want to hide? Do you need more or less water? Can you paint with your hands instead of a brush? The choices are endless. When you are satisfied, let your piece dry or blow dry it for a few minutes. For the next part of your project, you can use whatever medium you want to work with. I chose a Sharpie and paint pens. Your goal is to illustrate, meaning draw, what makes up your heartstring and layers. You will do this in any way that makes sense to you. I have chosen to draw the crosscut of a tree and write with words inside the tree rings, the things that protect me and make me feel strong. You could do something similar, or you might play around with the idea of rings. Create many layers in one piece to represent tree rings. Maybe you focus on your heartwood and emphasize the darkness of the wood, the healing qualities of your core. Again, this is entirely up to you. 
The goal is for you to show me what your heartwood and rings mean to you. The more media you add, the more interesting your piece might be. As you work, think about different layers of media you can add and change the idea of your personal tree rings and layers. When you're done, take a look at your piece and reflect on the following questions. What surprised you about creating this work of art? What ways did you use your art materials to give meaning to the idea of heartwood and rings? And how do the layers on your art surface connect or help create meaning for the rings in your artwork? Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see what you create.